Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how we can add data to our database using the SQL insert command. So we're going to learn about the syntax of the um, SQL insert command, which is used to add data to a database. Uh, we're going to learn about how to specify values that we want to insert into a database. For example, when we insert strings into the database, we have to enclose them in quotation marks. So we're going to learn about some rules for doing that. Uh, we're going to learn how to, uh, or we're going to walk through the process of actually populating our items uh, table that we created in our last lesson uh, with the uh, sort of default items we've had in our store. We've, um, in our web application, we've had sort of six items that we've had through all of our web application examples that we've added. Uh, that we've had in the store, and we're going to go ahead and add all those using insert statements. We're going to talk about how you can um, have a bunch of uh, SQL commands or SQL statements in text files, and then you can actually just sort of, um, in a way, sort of um, import that text file into the MySQL monitor, and it'll run all the commands for you. And then we're going to go over another required homework that's going to have you to set up uh, the items table by populating it with the sort of those default six items that we've had uh, in our web store application. Uh, so as mentioned, the insert command is used to um, insert rows into a, t into a table in a database. Um, it has the syntax defined here. Basically, it has uh, um, two keywords, insert into, followed by the table name. Uh, so we're, you'd say, like, insert into items, for example. And that's going to say we're going to be inserting um, data <coughs> into the items table. Uh, and then what you do is you can specify the names of the columns that you're going to be providing data for. So you name the different columns. For example, you might say item ID, name, and price. Then you have the keyword values, and then within parentheses, you specify the different values that you want to correspond to the different columns you've listed. So the first value would correspond to whatever column name you've defined here. The second would go to this name here, and then so on. And you can do that for as many columns as, as you need. There's also sort of a, a shorter syntax where um, you can leave out the column names, this section here, um, and have a command that would just be insert into items, for example. And then instead of having this column definition, you would just say values. And here I'm just putting them on separate lines, but they don't need to be just for readability. And then you would just specify the values. Now the thing to note about that is that, um, and this was mentioned in the, in the last lesson, is when you create a table you, and, and you use a create table command, um, you specify columns in a particular order. Well, that sets up basically the structure of that table and how those columns are ordered. So if you're going to be using this form of the insert into, or the insert command, without specifying the column names here, um, and you're just specifying values, you have to specify the values according to how those columns are ordered uh, in the table definition. So for columns with numeric data types, um, for example, our price column, uh, you simply specify uh, the literal value that you, wanna, that you want to insert into the database without quotation marks. So if we wanted to set a price to $15, we would just type 15.00. Uh, for columns with string data types, however, uh, the, for example, a car data type, a bar car, and a text data type, you have to surround them by quotation marks, um, either single quotes or double quotes. And just as in um, our PHP strings, uh, if your string that you're inserting into the database actually contains one of those quote characters itself, um, you must explicitly escape it using the escape sequence backslash uh, single quote to add a single quote to the string or backslash double quote to add a double quote to your string. Uh, another important thing is for columns that have the auto increment attribute set, which for our items table is the items, item ID column, because we want it to generate a new item ID um, automatically every time we add an item to the table. Um, what you do is when you provide a value uh, for in the insert statement for that particular column, if you provided a value of null or you provided a value of zero, uh, it, then MySQL is going to know to go ahead and auto, auto um, generate that new item ID, in this case, a new item ID um, to whatever the next value uh, in, that, in the table is. So you specify null or zero to do that. Alternatively, you can also explicitly set the value for an auto increment column by actually giving it a particular value. You can actually, um, for example, if this is our column definition, insert 
into, and we said item ID was the column, values, let's say we're just inserting uh, one column, we could explicitly put um, 1001. Uh, and that way it wouldn't do the auto increment feature, it would set it to uh, the value explicitly um, specified.